हेल्थ स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल ऑन इनवर्स रोटेशन ओके सो होप यू ऑल रिमेंबर वॉट इज इनवर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आई हेड टोल्ड यू ऑल इफ यू आर परफॉर्मिंग नॉर्मल रोटेशन दिस इज द मैट्रिक्स यू हेल्फ टू यूज दैट इज कॉस्टिटा साइंटिटा माइनस साइंटिटा कॉस्टिटा बट इफ यू एल हैव टू परफॉर्म द इनवर्स रोटेशन आई हेड टोल्ड यू ऑल टू यूज दिस मैट्रिक्स दैट इज कॉस्टिटा साइंटिटा माइनस साइंटिटा कॉस्टिटा दैट मीन्स दिस साइन चेंजेस okay here it is minus plus and here it is plus minus so this matrix you'll have to use when they say that you have to rotate in anti clockwise direction that is the default direction and this rotation you'll have to use when you are performing rotation in clockwise direction okay so in this problem they have told that a triangle is given a22 b42 c44 find the transformed coordinates after 90 degrees rotation about the origin in clockwise direction okay so this problem is for normal rotation basic transformation rotation they have not given any fixed point pivot point or anything here it will be doing the rotation about the origin only only different thing is you will have to rotate 90 degrees across clockwise direction that means this is the triangle it will rotate not in the anti clockwise direction but it will rotate in the clockwise direction so you all should be knowing that you all should not use this matrix but you all should use this matrix that is the inverse rotation okay so inverse transformation for rotation means you all have to use this matrix when you all are performing the rotation across clockwise direction otherwise if they say rotated by 90 degrees about the origin without mentioning any direction so it is understood that you all have to perform by default anti clockwise direction so let us see how it is done in clockwise direction so a is 2 2 b is 4 2 and c is 4 4 okay so here you all have to just form find out the new coordinates they have not given us any pivot point fixed point nothing so p dash is the new coordinate r theta is the rotation and dot p is the old coordinate okay so we know that x dash y dash 1 r theta is nothing but cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta so i have used the matrix of the inverse rotation okay and this is the old coordinates old coordinates means you have to put these coordinates there okay so there uh, theta they have given it as 90 90 assigned 90 cos 90 and so on and the old coordinates you have to put those coordinates that is what is a here a is 2 2 okay uh, b is 4 2 4 2 c is 4 4 that is you have to convert this two dimensional uh, coordinates into three dimensional matrix okay that is uh, 2 2 4 2 and 4 4 and the third row is nothing but the homogeneous coordinates which are all one okay so perform the uh, multiplication of these two that is cos 90 is 0 sin 90 1 minus sin 90 is minus 1 and cos 90 is 0 after you perform this multiplication of these two matrices you will get this matrix okay and from this you take the first two as the a dash the new coordinates 2 minus 4 is b dash and 4 minus 4 is nothing but c dash and the last three you all should get all ones as are the homogeneous coordinates so the old coordinates were 2 2 4 2 4 minus 4 and the new coordinates are a dash b dash c dash this is the new coordinates okay so let us plot the new coordinates so these are the plotting of the new coordinates a dash b dash and c dash so you all can see that old polygon was this after rotating it clockwise direction by 90 degrees it has come to this plane this axis it has come and it has rotated by uh, 90 degrees so this was the problem for using inverse rotation